Hi, um, I'm just wanting to do a talk here, um, and I want to talk about haters. Obviously, judging by the picture, um, I've been I've done quite a few of these kind of videos um, where I just post a picture up, and um, there's music in the background, and I talk over it. And I sometimes like to do a video where I'm actually talking to a camera as well. I like to mix it up a bit, you know. And the music in the background, I think it's just from iTunes. It's just different background music. And so I just want to talk about haters. And I've had quite a few people, you know, contact me regarding my path over the years. And it's by people who have been, they say, on the path for a long time and they've done this course, they've read that book. You know, I didn't do any of that, you know, and what is what makes these people feel threatened is the fact that I didn't I didn't want any of this. I didn't want it. I had an unexpected spiritual experience that led to all the stuff I speak about. And these people don't believe in what's within them. And so they, they get angry at someone like me. And so they come to you and say, oh, I'm your friend. And then, you know, a little bit down the road, you realize that they're actually not your friend. They're actually just wanting to um, try to impose the threat that they feel onto you. That's what insecure people do. I was speaking about it last night. Insecure people try to impose to you the threat that they feel from you. You know, it's they're trying to reflect subconsciously. They're trying to reflect that back at you, but it's not your fault, really. You're just being yourself. But that's what they're trying to do: reflect it back at you. But at the same time, when I have someone that is in my presence that I, I think to myself isn't, you know, um, a supporter, and um, what what I basically do is just is just go along with it and, and try and feel my emotions in that moment because it's not about whether they hate me or not it's about how I respond to that you know and they'll say all sorts of different things you know they can't say anything about the information I'm talking about because it's backed up knowledge so they can't say anything about that but they'll, they'll say things that little things I had one person even say that I, I might be interacting with demonic forces when all I'm interacting with is my emotions. I'm just going by the feel good things within me. That's it. Which no one no one acknowledges their soul. And um, you know, I, I I might come across a bit vulnerable to some people because I'm so open. You know, when you're so open it can come across like you are very vulnerable. But that's actually a super powerful strength if you can go with your emotions because that's how we channel for anyone that wants to know how to channel information it's all to do with energy emotions so you start to tap into your feelings and flow and then you start to be like a, a walking radio where you're picking up frequencies and um, infinite energies infinite knowledge and what you're tapping into is infinite levels of self, the infinity. Um, you know, the vastness, when you look up to the stars, that's what you're tapping into. And yeah, I suppose for people that have only ever done courses in their life or whatever, when someone like me comes along and I've got all this information, and yet I might not, I'm, as a person, I'm quite shy or not, <clears throat> you know, I'm always M and I'm pausing a bit. Um, you know, that can seem, you know, not too confident. But the reason that is a pause and stuff is, is because I get, when I'm talking, I get new information. And as soon as I talk about a subject, I've seen me doing it with my mum, I've seen doing it all the time. As soon as I talk about a subject, then I'm getting relentless knowledge. So I'm pausing to try and work out this knowledge at the same time as I'm talking on here. And I'm doing talks. It's just what happens, because what I'm doing is when I'm talking, because I'm passionate when I'm talking, 
that's what I'm opening up so much that I'm channeling. I'm, I'm, I'm in a constant channel. It's very easy for me to pick up knowledge. I do it without even thinking about it. I don't like sitting um, conscious. I'm, I'm basically meditating all the time, but I'm not doing it on purpose. You know, my, my awareness is such at such a level where I'm so open to things. Um, and and anyone, you know, how you do, do that yourself is you just have to choose, choose to be open. You know, I choose to be this way. Um, I've always been this way all my life, open, but once the spiritual awakening came, that was basically showing me that this vulnerability you've got, this thing that people think is your strength, Sean, is actually your power. And so start to go with that. I mean, very few men probably do that. They'd probably be too scared. You know, and that, but, but I realized that that was, that, you know, this awakening showed me that that was my strength. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I just wanted to do a video on, on haters um, and and the fact that, you know, vulnerability, that is, that is a super powerful strength. And that's why, you know, I don't mind taking a pause or, or, or not sounding too confident. It, do, it doesn't really matter because what it's really about is me sharing this information as clearly as possible. That's what it's about, you know? It's That's what it's about. It's about sharing this great knowledge, being open as possible. That's the most important thing for me, to be as open as I can be to this great, vast information, you know, and, and getting this information across and very easy to understand. So, but regarding haters, you know, just um, when people are like that to you, understand that they are, you know, reflections of you from the past. If you're not feeling insecure, then they're from the past and they're there to teach you something. So it's all about, like I said earlier in the video, it's about how you respond to it. That's your strength. So observe how you respond to situations like that and judge yourself on how you are in those situations. But I'm just going to end it there. If you're listening, watching, thank you very much. Thank you.